Basically, I uh, make these noises <coughs> constantly. I cough, huh? I sniff, huh? I move my head, I make loud you know, vocal noises. I have Tourette's syndrome, that's why I'm making that noise. I can't help it. I'm not sick. Everyone is very hypersensitive about contact, being around people, and first of all, catching the virus. Yeah. So that leads very interestingly into something that you've been experiencing. Pandemic or not, when you're uh, clearing your throat, you know, coughing, um, sniffing on the subway, uh, it attracts attention. I just want to give you a little snippet of a solo show I'm performing soon. Everyone's going to be rolling their eyes thinking about that. Uh, and I just want to, it's the show is all about my life with Tourette syndrome. The show is called The Elephant in Every Room I Enter. Tourette syndrome is a neurological disorder that, that you're born with that makes you have these uncontrollable tics, movements, or sounds. Some people say words, shit, shit, fuck, 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 shit, shit, shit. But I don't do that. And neither do most people with Tourette's. For me, it's often a, a, a throat clearing <coughs> like that. <coughs> and now that I'm talking about it, <coughs> I'm gonna do it more. <coughs> um, sometimes sniffing, <laughs> but um, everyone has uh, both a vocal and a motor. Um, a tick. So, you know, for me, sometimes my motor ticks are sort of, you know, clenching my abdomen, moving my shoulders, um, stuff with my neck, curling my toes. I'm in this conference room with tons of people ticking. It's incredibly wild to be in these large conference rooms with tons and tons of kids and adults uh, uh, chirping, barking with disgusting coughs like mine, echoed words, conference, advocate. We're so happy, happy, happy to have you. <laughs> For the first time in my life, it was actually normal to have Tourette's. When I exercise, and I exercise a lot, partially because of the Tourette's and the noise that needs to sort of um, quiet down through exercise. Um, when I exercise, sometimes that stimulates a need to tick more, unfortunately. So I've noticed recently when I ride my bike in Central Park, for instance, one of the only places I go to that it is crowded. Regardless of how, you know, how careful I am about how, you know, far away from anybody I am, it, you know, it, it will sort of perk people's ears as if, you know, it's, it's their, 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 you know, their uh, sensitive robot that, you know, notices noise or something like that. I know there's tremendous concern uh, in our disability community, uh, dealing with all the unknowns that everyone else is dealing with, but needing to make sure that there'll be sensitivity and concern in our city government and all the institutions of our society, uh, that there'll be information flowing and messages that will be helpful and necessary information for the community. Well, I think, yes, I, uh, Brian, I think you're right. Uh, we are in some very difficult times right now. And people with disabilities are feeling this. And traditionally what the mayor's office with people with disabilities does is it works hard to ensure that uh, every person with a disability has access to everything the city has to offer. And we do that through referrals, through transportation, housing, benefits. Uh, we have a program called NYC at Work, Project Open House that comes in and makes people's houses accessible. And we have um, ASL Direct, which allows people who are deaf to be able to contact their office. People with disabilities are the most resilient people that are out there. We've adjusted to things like this throughout our lives and with, with our disabilities in society every day that people don't see. We adapt every day. And now every other person has to adapt every day. And just like you said, we're just like everyone else, but we're just a lot more resilient than anyone else. I definitely credit Tourette's with uh, making me the actor I am, partially just because uh, it makes me so much more obsessive in my, the attention I pay to everything. Realizing it with other people. And my mind is just racing. But I'm perfectly expressing all the thoughts. And people actually get them and understand them. And, and then react to them. Are you at all concerned about discrimination that folks may face uh, coming out of this thing, knowing the climate before and what it can be like after? Absolutely, uh, I am. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, just knowing how sensitive people are to um, 
you know, public health, uh, uh, independent of, of, you know, a pandemic like this, I do expect there to be uh, much more heightened awareness and probably discrimination for something like this. Um, on some level, justifiably, you know, I hate to have to put it that way, but you know, we're all concerned about our health and, you know, you know, if someone is, you know, does have a communicable disease, they, they should be covering their mouth, you know? So that's always sort of the difficulty. Thank you, everybody. That's the elephant in every room I enter at La Mama. Check it out. It's a really interesting solo show. If anyone wants to come, they're $10 tickets for every night. <laughs>